The Great Lake cruise ship season is officially underway with the arrival of the Victory One in Muskegon. This is now the fourth year that Muskegon has been a port of call for cruise ships. Ships dock at Heritage Landing, giving passengers easy access to explore downtown Muskegon and the Lake Michigan shoreline. Here's 13 on your sides, John Mills with more. The Victory One arrived in Muskegon early Thursday morning. Passengers are on a nine night Great Lakes excursion. Victory One tied up at Heritage Landing around 7 a.m. The Muskegon Port of Call is just one of many travelers on board will be making. We started yesterday in Chicago. We took on new passengers and we are on our way to Mackinac Island next. We hit Detroit, Cleveland. The vessel started cruising the Great Lakes in 2016. We knew our guests that they wanted to see more of America, so we decided to venture out here on the Great Lakes. The Agile, intimate ship can take passengers. We have a capacity of 202 guests on board, 101 staterooms. Into smaller ports like Muskegon. We have included shore excursions on all of our ports. Those Muskegon excursions included the LST 393 and Silverside Sub. Cruise ships will make 13 stops in Muskegon this year. It'll be all summer long. You'll see the Pearl Mist and the Victory Cruise Lines. And then at the end of this season in September and October, we have a new ship coming in, La Champlain. Tourism leaders worked hard to secure the visits, which started in 2015 when the Pearl Mist was diverted from Holland to Muskegon because Holland's dock wasn't available. The day-long visits are something business owners appreciate. We enjoy talking to them, asking them where they're from, hearing about their adventures and their travels, and they usually are having a really good time. The travelers buy souvenirs and small gifts. Five dollars, thank you very much. And they do impact the local economy. We had approximately 1,400 visitors last year off the cruise ships. And uh, so that's that's huge. The Muskegon Lakeshore Chamber of Commerce and tourism leaders are working hard to get even more cruise ships to visit Muskegon next year. They say they're in talks with three additional cruise lines. As for the Victory One, it should be leaving Muskegon between six and seven o'clock tonight. In Muskegon, John Mills, 13 on your side. The Grand Rapids Planning Commission unanimously denied the first applicant trying to open.